Good morning, Memorial. My name is Davis, and this is Spartan News for Tuesday, September 8th. Welcome back, Memorial. I hope everyone has had a great summer. Before we can start with the news, our online learning this year, Spartan News would like to pause and acknowledge the events occurring in our state and country. The deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and the shooting of Jacob Blake have amplified the need to achieve racial equality within our community. The mistreatment of the black community has affected everyone in different ways. Today, we'd like to showcase how some students express their feelings about the recent events in our Clip of the Week. Hey everyone, my name is Adeja Shannon. I'm a senior here at Memorial and over the summer I got the opportunity to create a piece of art for the Black Lives Matter mural. I created a painting of like an African American girl with like a big puff and then over her face was like a mask but it had like the American flag over the mask that covered like her mouth and nose. Um, the reason I put the American flag on the mask is because not only are we living in a pandemic, it seems like we're living in a racist pandemic as well. Um, if you haven't noticed, all over the media and everywhere, we constantly see black people being mistreated or abused simply off the color of their skin, which is racism, and that is not okay. So that's why I put that. My art piece was one that says Taylor names with big black letters, and around the letter, it lists names of victims of police brutality who have been murdered by the police. Freedom is like religion to us. Justice is juxtaposition in us. Justice for all just ain't specific enough. One son died, the spirit is revisiting us. True and living, living in us. Resistance is us. That's why Rosa sat on the bus. That's why we walked through Ferguson with our hands up. I say I just feel emotionally drained and emotionally exhausted from seeing all this negative stuff that's happening around the world, especially here in the United States. When you turn the news, all you see is something negative from a spike of COVID deaths to another victim of police brutality, especially what's happened here in Kenosha with Jacob Blake. Um, it's just really bad to see that if that happens so close at home. It's just crazy that we're like in high school and we're living through a civil rights move movement. So what Black Lives Matter means to me is it's a movement that show that shines light on black lives um, because it seems like in this country like our lives don't seem to matter as much because we are constantly being mistreated based off the color of our skin. Um, and so when we say Black Lives Matter, that's not putting down any other race or any other group of people. It's just shining light on our lives because in this country it seems like they don't matter. So we're just saying that our lives do matter. They're just as important as anyone else and it shouldn't be based off the color of our skin at all. I just want to thank um, all of like JMM staff and like all the students that participated in this um, Black Lives Matter like mural. And I just thought it was really important that they did that because it just shows that they um, actually support the movement and like they care for the african-american students that go to the school so Racism is not a political issue. Everyone is equal, and everyone should be treated equally regardless of the color of their skin. Our hope at Spartan News is that the JMM community will only get better at supporting and respecting one another. Now we'd like to transition to some news about the 2020-21 school year. As of today, virtual learning will take place until at least October 30th. Updates regarding online and in-person learning will be sent out to your school emails when more information becomes available. At 11.30 today, there will be a club fair hosted by Ms. Wilcox that I hope you will attend. There are a wide variety of clubs such as Speed and Strength, Social Justice Book Club, and Spartan News. No matter what your interests are, there are still ways to get involved at JMM, even if it's virtually. Spartan News is celebrating our 10th season 
Be on the lookout for some Spartan news on YouTube and our Instagram. Stay safe, everyone.